Before we jump into any techniques, I want to explain the situation for the long step. When you guys are able to apply the long step, when is the right timing for you guys to use the long step, when is the right grips for you guys to do the long step. So like before we do any technique, if the positioning and the posture, it's wrong, you guys won't be able to apply the long step. Most of the long step starts from the knee slide position. Okay, so this is a position where you guys have the opportunity to use a long step. But if I don't know how to manage the distance, I won't be able to succeed passing the guard. So then you guys will see a lot of people that do a long step or they do a movement that looks like the long step, but they're never able to stabilize the position or they're never able to connect to a good position. So look how uh, usually if I'm not thinking about this, I'm just going to do a long step. But look how the, it's, it's very difficult for me to, you know, find a gap for it to, to pass the guard because my partner will be framing and he's going to be reacting, he's going to be using his shields. The long step can be applied at any given time, but when it's the right time for you guys to use it and you get that you guys will be able to succeed the pass, you guys will be able to stabilize the pass. First thing that I need to look for is to make sure that my head, it's not like uh, above him, it's not on top of him. That's the first thing. So if you guys are trying to do the long step, you will never be able to apply or finish the pass when you guys have your head positioned this way. Okay, so look how I'm trying to never be on top of him. I'm trying to always be in front of him. So look how I'm gonna, you know, push myself back a little bit. So I push myself back. Now look how my head is gonna go below his knee line. I'm trying to lower myself from this position I'm gonna go back, all my weight is gonna go back to my left leg. So one, my chest is gonna disconnect from his leg. Now I'm gonna enter the gap right here. So look, I'm gonna enter below his knee line. You're always trying to open up the gaps to be able to land on side control. So if my partner's framing, he's trying to connect the elbows to the knees and make sure that there's nowhere that I can land. What I'm trying to do when I'm passing the guard is that I'm trying to do this. Look. I'm trying to spread him. I'm trying to disconnect the elbows from the knees. Because now when I do hit a technique, I'm gonna have enough space to drop my chest and stabilize. So look how at first, everything, there's no space. I can have a collar grip, that's fine, but there's no space. I'm gonna start fixing that posture. So look how I'm gonna go back so I already this by going back, I disconnect the bottom leg to his elbow and my head goes in to make sure he doesn't use the knee shield. Okay, so if the knee shield comes in, then he avoids most of my pass. So I want to make sure that my head penetrates right in, in between the legs. Then from here, I can start working on my long step. 